Rescue mission, day five. Why is that captain hiding back there? Uh, what is he planning? <laughs> Since I start giving these guys all wacky personalities, I'm losing my- I'm losing trust for them. Dingo, is it true that you encountered our pilot while stranded? Well, uh, yeah. I ran into Bernard at some point, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Leaf? What? What's a leaf? I'd only eat <laughs> rice and various minerals. <laughs> like, what's a mineral besides salt? Asbestos. <laughs> We saw the leaf creature pick up someone else and toss them all into a big pup. Bernard and I tried to follow, but we were too late. They dragged the castaway into a cave, and suddenly there were growing leaves too. That sounds very familiar. I don't know why Jeff is saying that, but I am. Hold on, okay? I was just getting to the good part. So then the leaf creature in charge spotted us. We got out of there as fast as we could. Or at least that's what we thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out. Or maybe he got turned into a leafling too. A leafling. Oh, that's what me and Bernard started calling him. It's much faster to say leafling than... That leaf creature over there that's red and has an impeccable Dandori. Catchy, isn't it? I don't really like that name, so I am going to refer to them as that leaf creature over there who has an impeccable Dandori. But first things first, we need to find and rescue our pilot. Officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. Their stations are just randomly assembling everywhere. That's that's what's happening. Oh gracious! I need to. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. I'm I'm getting the controls. Okay. I was gonna say I I only play this game once a week, so getting used to the controls, you know, is going to take me a, a while. That's why I typically take a little bit of time before I I leave the hub world just to refamiliarize myself. Also, in true true to fashion to life, I am looking for four leaf clovers right now. Um, I should stop that, especially in the recording, because I'm not going to find any. No, Paul. You can all relax now. Dingo is back. I don't know how the rescue corps made it this for long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough, since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I get back into action. Uh, I don't remember. Did we get you a lot yesterday? I don't remember you, but okay. So far. Oh no, I remember him. Wow, I can zoom in far. Hi there, my name's Kingsley. I, uh, am I really just doing the same voice as I am in Tears of the Kingdom? Ah, skip it. No one watches Tears of the Kingdom anyway. I read a flower shop back at home. I, I actually came to this planet to find rare flowers, then things took a turn. One second I'm gazing at a glorious bud, and then the next thing I know I'm stranded. So yeah, I've had enough adventure for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much more exploring around here. You're useless to me. Do you have more dialogue? <laughs> it's been- oh, you do! It's been intense, but I just can't give up completely. I want to leave this planet more flowery than it was when I got here. That's where you come in. You gotta help me bloom a whole lot of pigment flowers. Let's fill this world with blossoms. <laughs> What's in it for you? Well, do this for me and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal. Wow, that's a lofty... Eh, that's a lofty... Pretty lofty goal. It's gonna be easier when we get more Pikmin. If this acts like any other Pikmin game... Those aren't clovers. Then... Yeah, if this is anything like any other Pikmin game, then the flowers will be taken out of the onion first, so we're only gonna get like a hundred red flower Pikmin, and then we're gonna need to move on to a different color. Again, true to fashion, I'm gonna talk to Schnauz, and we're going to go... 
And look at... Oh, I'm, I'm pressing Y because I think it's B. Ah, what is Tears of the Kingdom done to be? Let's observe. Oh, sorry. Let's look at notes. Ah, oh, fret, no fret not. Stately rubber cutie. Yes, you may be smallish in size, but that does not matter. Cute is cute. In fact, it's quite possible you're even more cute because of your smallness. Yes, I do believe you are. Oh, again, that's not what I want. This treasure takes a sophisticated palate to appreciate. First, a salty sweet sauce is put atop some kind of white food stuff. It is then fried and topped with a thin black layer of paper. It sounds awful, but it tastes wonderful. Surprising in the best way. Someone went to great lengths to first nibble this cookie into a perfect circle, then to nibble a perfect circle out of the middle of the cookie. The cookie craftsmanship, craftsmanship exhibited here. It's mind-boggling, really. As are our mental gymnastics. Truly. One of the wonders of our time. It was this adorable ship's yummy smell that lured me in. Then, suddenly, I was taking a bite. Lo and behold, I found the ship to be... Edible. In fact, it's chocolate flavored. I'm still not quite sure what to make of this discovery. All I know, it's a delicious one. A round raft meant for a single occupant. It floats using the water's surface tension. Those holes in the middle allow the passenger a delightful glimpse of the water below. Then again, one might consider plugging those holes if one is worried about the raft taking on water. I just realized we're going to have to get different dialogues on all of fairly identical looking puzzle pieces. This is going to get weird. This mysterious fragment appears to be the top right part of a giant photo. Could it be a, photo a photograph of a precious moment in time? But why would such a thing be broken into pieces? Was someone trying to hide something? I must see all the pieces. I must know. Oh, still more. Despite its wild and intimidating outer appearance, this fruit looks quite fancy and refined on the inside. Tiny black specks decorate w bright white flesh. All in all, it looks like an egg from the nest of some fire-breathing half-animal, half-plant, half-beast. Which is funny, considering he thinks that dragons existed as evidenced in uh, one of these earlier things, I don't remember. If it's a good night's sleep you're seeking, this bed can help. Not only is it quite spacious and comfortable, but if you flip it over, it will coat you in a fine cloud of dust that is said to encourage sweet dreams. But bring a lint roller for when you're done sleeping. That's, that's funny. Surely this powerful viewing device was used by a brilliant professor trying to capture, capture a glimpse of the truth hiding in the most fundamental level of the universe. But when they looked through here, did they find that truth? Or did the truth look bigger and a bit out of focus? <laughs> okay. Some people love to ride the rails because it reminds them of the past. Others ride the rails because they're excited about what lies in the future. I say a train trip is more than just transportation. It is unlimited possibility. Hop aboard and find out. Uh, this, this train won't, won't be going in anywhere. So I guess it's um potential possibility, not kinetic. In fortune-telling circles, this is the color of illumination. It has the power to light the path before us, showing us which way to go if we want to better want better luck in life, and, specifically, in money-making endeavors. I hope the illumination goo will light my way. Oh, not done yet. To use this mode of transportation, you must stand on the trolley and kick the ground to propel yourself forward. You can also sit on the trolley and push yourself along using your hands. It's more thrilling than riding a typical tro trolley, but it also takes a lot more work. The F-Board. This vegetable it was tended to with the utmost care and uh, doted on, you might say. You can tell by its exceptional flavor and nutritional value. Yes, all the love given to it has turned it into a sweet and savory food treat. Delicious and delightful. Much like yours truly. I love how, how the stylish bean comes with its very own hard wrapper. It's as if it was made to be carried around and snacked on at a convenient time. Oh, snacked. <laughs> it smells quite yummy, too. Funny, funnily enough, even thinking about having a bite makes me get quite thirsty. Almost as if it's covered in salt. 
Did you know that satellites are highly vulnerable to meteors and other space debris? This shield was specifically made for space workers who protected these vital pieces of tech from damage. If this shield can withstand a blow from a meteor, it can withstand anything. And... Oh, not yet. The ancient peoples of this planet used this luck wafer during wedding ceremonies. They did so because the moon is the object one stares at when one thinks about someone they love. Or, at least, that's what I stare at whenever I, l I have love on my mind. Alas, at this very moment, I have no one to think about. Perhaps you, you handsome reader, could be the one. The one who I look away from and regard the moon. I never look you in the face because to do so would be to turn my eyes away from the moon. Is, which is what one looks at when in love. <laughs> All right, let's move on. That, that was a that's a shot. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more. Do drop by any time you'd like to peruse the treasure catalog. I will just be here, not staring at the moon. For in doing so, would mean I'm in love. But I'm not in love with anyone at the given moment. And if I was, I would not. Look. Moving on. Uh. Oi. Kiri. I've created a new item! Well, I developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand! You have to come see for yourself! Gee, let's get started! Oh... Snap! We can just buy this garbage? Scorch guard? Makes him immune to fire? Scorch guard for us makes us immune to fire. Headlamp. Okay, but... Oh, caves will get dark. Ooh, I'm not gonna buy this. I'm not buying this. I like it when caves are dark. Not buying it yet. Treasure gauge seems helpful. Sure. I'll pin on. Toss one of these crunchies to a creature and watch its bitter flavor. I don't know why I rolled an L. <laughs> Paralyze them from head to toe or tail. There are plenty of picnic carrots in the pantry, but some are duds and way too bitter to be considered edible. <laughs> By us, anyway. Kihi! Hello, hello! This bomb saps heat from the surrounding areas instantly and freezes everything nearby. Creatures and water included. Water? Okay, I don't want that yet, though. I don't really care about these. Snap. Okay. Treasure gauge? Yes. I'm buying a treasure gauge. I'm also going to buy a scorch guard. Because I was mean to my dog. I kind of feel bad about that. And we know that our dog isn't fireproof. And so, in a stunning case of character development for me, I am going to extend an olive branch <laughs> and set my dog on fire. <laughs> but he's going to like it this time. <laughs> I am a great dog owner. Uh, and let's buy one of each. If I don't want to be losing Pikmin, one of the easiest ways to lose Pikmin is by end of day. Now that we can move our base, that gets even easier as we could have Pikmin that are stranded because I moved the base. So, I'm going to teach Ochi how to save Pikmin, not just captains. I'm picking up some signals that may be coming from other castaways in the most recently discovered area. There could be a stranded rescue officer out there. We're counting on you to rescue them. Prefer preferably before they spoil. We haven't chatted to you with you yet. No? I had no idea that anyone else had received Captain Olimar's SOS signal and decided to come to this planet. But it doesn't matter who's stranded or why. It's our job to e get them home safe. Let me know when you're ready to explore. That's what I was going to say before. 
that also starts with an E. I'll be right here. I'm ready. Which area would you like to explore? You have one option. Actually, wait, do I not? I have more than one option now? I might have more than one option. I do. The Blossoming Arcadia. While there are other places for me to go in the Sun Speckled Terrace, it's, it's kind of one of those situations like the Awakening Wood in Pikmin 2, where there are some loose ends to tie up at this point. Not necessarily a full day's worth of activities. The game is pushing us towards the Blossoming Arcadia, and I am going to answer its call. Let's go. You go, do it. We're going to stay here and be absolutely... Actually, you know what? No, they're useful. The captains are useful. I, I like this cast crew. Everyone does their part, except for that the flower picker. I, I could, you know... Some try. Some, some people's part is doing nothing. That's okay, I think. The Blossoming Arcadia. Those are burrowing Snagret babies. I can't wait to kill them. This is beautiful. Ah, snitch bugs. The Blossoming Arcadia. And there's no dialogue. Yeah, I like that. Just throwing us into the action. I am going to take out... Oh, yeah, we can do it. Ooh. I can do 35 at this point. Hmm. I'm going to continue to take out a fairly balanced crew, favoring reds because they're good fighters. I think that makes sense. Okay. As for... And, okay, for a second, I thought I didn't think the day progression was going. Uh, as for my choice in upgrades, let's, let's talk about those. That's... Hold why. Oh, we can reassign these? What? Wait, what? Oh, that's that's crazy. That's awesome too. That that gets rid of all of my my problems with the gather Pikmin, scrummy bone. This is awesome. All right. Well, let's do it then. Down on the D pad is ultra spicy spray because that's how it is in Pikmin too. Up is survey drone because it goes to the air, and left and right really don't matter right now. That's awesome. I'm happy with that. Alright. Let's... Let's murder him. Die! Kill him! Am I fine? Oh, okay. Okay. They have a little, more, a little bit more health than I thought they would. And I almost lost a Pikmin. Be careful, pal. Start with blue... With, uh, ice. Whew. That was close. And currently, there real there isn't much of an incentive. Oh, that's what that is. I I've been looking in post uh, at at the thing in the upper left hand corner and wondering what on earth it was. Now I know. I can place beacons. That's pretty cool. Yeah, bringing back monster monsters isn't exactly worth my time. I think because I can only I can only grow my red population, and it's fine. So, unless it's, like, super, super important, like an, a boss or something, I don't think I need to bother with it. Okay, I also need to remember I have... I don't really have any panic buttons, but I do have... I do have... Ah, oh, hi! You can't kill Pikmin, right? Skitter leaves? Okay, they don't have that ability. Oh, whoops. Die! He's dead. And I don't need to bother with him because he is a skitter leaf, and he will only give me one Pikmin. What is? It? I've been purposefully avoiding using the drone. Yeah, let's dig this up entirely. I, I, I'm purposely avoiding using the drone because 
I, I'd like to have a little bit of, you know, sense of discovery, and I, I think the drone's kind of broken. Like, look at this thing. This is really stupid. I mean, it, it's not stupid, like, I don't like it. It's just, uh, there is a, there will come a time when I will use it a lot, but the time isn't yet. Uh, oh, forget. I can use motion controls. And that is what I should do. I dare say this might be the best. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm already going to call it. Uh, this requires 40. Swarm you, and then you, so you make four trips. This is the best set of controls we have gotten in a Pikmin game. Full stop, I'm already going to say that. These are gorgeous. Um, I really don't want to tackle them with 18 Pikmin. Yes, they, they kind of have me scared, but... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me... Also, that's that's really good to know. I can extend my whistle by doing that. Come on, cut me a little bit of slack. It's... I, I'm trying not to lose any Pikmin. Die. Yeah. That's how you kill children. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Uh, or do. You could, I guess. Swarm mechanic is king. Swarm mechanic is key. Yes. Oh! Uh, oh, what are these called? What are these called? There's something something pop. Oh, man. These were these things were all the rage when I was a kid. It felt and I thought they were so stupid. Seeing I mean, seeing big kids as I called them sucking on these like they were babies. Ah, oh, man. Oh, a bearded armpit. It's a bearded amprat, but I'm calling it a bearded armpit. Um That bridge is almost done. That gate is almost done. I don't hmm. Oh, ooh. Can I break through that? Maybe. They're almost done. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm. I don't have yellows on with me. And I'm gonna wait till I do. Those things are nasty. They're especially nasty in Pikmin Three. And I, I really don't wanna. I don't wanna mess with them. Uh, can I? Can, let's see. Switch. Look at that. The dog is a captain. This is awesome. This is awesome. I have two captains now. I really didn't expect the dog would be a captain. I mean, in a game we're about getting captains, the fact that we're not using any of them is rather odd. But we have two captains now, so I'm not complaining. It, it would be kind of cool if we got to choose which captains we use, considering they, the game keeps talking about how they have different strengths and powers and stuff. I don't know what that whistle is. Okay, we have our yellows. I don't know if not 10 are enough. I might try and swarm him with bo with ice first. This is honestly going to be the first. Ooh, what if I do this? This might work. This might work. Die! Freeze him. Or just kill him outright. All right. Ochi ain't no man's fool. Hold up. What is that? Is that a hairpin? Mulan? Hello? Mulan? Mulan reference, guys. Mulan. I love Mulan. Swarm. I, I really don't like... For some reason, I've always liked just digging until we're done. Just because if there are bomb rocks... Ooh, snap! If there are bomb rocks to be had, then I want to know. Because it's going to affect my journey going forward. Whereas other things, like bridges, I'm totally fine. Um, Ochi... No, I guess you can come with me. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Ochi. Go back to base. Uh, go to base. So you can bring my Pikmin back. Okay, switch it. Swooping snitch bug. Uh, yellows. You can, you can dig up your onion. Digging ha has once been your thing. 
I don't know what your thing is now. Every single game they try to give you a new thing. Man, poor yellows. Poor yellows have had it so bad. Look at that, another onion. This one's different, a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Yellow Pikmin have had it so bad. You, you want to talk about blue Pikmin in like promo- Man, it takes 20. In promotional material, um, having this like- Being the, the type of Pikmin that Nintendo supposedly hates. Let's talk about yellow Pikmin. In Pikmin 1, these poor, poor... Actually, switch. Uh, let's see, wait, 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 wait. Let's do this right. Go here. Switch. This better not take 20. Come here. Aha! Switch again. Look at me. Look at me. Let's do it. Cool. Um, what was I saying? You guys can do this. Yellow Pikmin have had the worst identi identity crisis in Pikmin history. In Pikmin 1, there was no electricity. Uh, four or five. There was no electricity, so they only carry- they, their thing was flying high and being able to carry bomb rocks. Yes, if you were new, not every Pikmin could do that. Th that was a, a yellow specific thing. I kind of worry about this. Uh, can I leave the dog there? Is that how that works? Oh, he's gonna come back. In Pikmin 2, they invented electricity, and this was the best showing that Yellow's ever had, as they were immune to the only, besides crushing, insta-kill hazard. It was awesome. They li they loved life. You didn't just t harvest ten of them and call it a day. You harvested as many as you wanted. Some people even took... Actually, the Prima Guide recommends taking a, a squad of 100 yellows to fight the final boss, because at the very least, you can whistle them out of every other hazard, and they're immune to the insta-kill hazard. It sucked up the other onion. That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable. The onions fused, and now there is just one with two colors. Wait, do you think it will be able to propagate pigment of both taps now? That is how it works. Uh, how do I... how I dismiss? I want to just dis dismiss the dog. I suppose I can't do that. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Uh, disband? Yeah! Perfect! Uh, what was I saying? In... <clears throat> in Pikmin 3, electri electricity doesn't kill at all! So, what did they give them? The ability to progress the story by connecting themselves, or connecting circuits, thus blooming them, and then never being useful again. It was stellar. I loved it. It was the best. Also, I meant to pull out more yellows, but I forgot. Oops. Also, I thought I took out more yellows than this. Did I not? I guess I didn't. Uh, my goal here, that is the wrong button, uh, my goal here is to span and I kind of want to take, uh, fine, fine, fine. They, they basically, they're probably the worst kind of Pikmin in Pikmin 3 as well, unless I'm forgetting something obvious. Uh, put them away. Take them out. I think this is correct. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I guess once we get into the cave, we can we can uh, reevaluate because it lets us do that, which is awesome. Um, and then Pikmin Four. So far, are they. I mean, they haven't. They're not necessarily. It, it, the jury's still out on it. The jury's still out on it. We don't know. Uh, you go there. I'll command you. I kind of mismanaged my time here, but I've been talking, so I'm, you know. It happens. You go back to base. You guys do this. And I... I'm gonna kill this man. Ready? Ready? Kill him! Yes! 
Okay, I'm acting like the bearded armpit is the like the toughest enemy in the world, but it's really not. It's not that bad, but ooh, actually, reds, reds get that, and yellows. I think yellows have to get that. Yeah, yellows have to get that. The the little treasure gauge is kind of kind of gives me anxiety. I'll get used to it eventually, but it I don't know it. <laughs> The noise it makes just puts me on edge. I feel like I'm about to, I feel like it's in Sonic and I'm about to run out of air. What is this cave? Secluded courtyard. In the natural world, there are many examples of strategic mimicry, where one lulls their prey into perceived safety. But I never thought I would witness it firsthand. I now know danger can lurk in even the j jiggliest of places? That's kind of scary. That's, uh, mm. I don't like how that was worded. Uh, what should I do? What, what else should I do here with my time? Uh, let's, you know what? I think it's, it's drone time. It's drone time. I think this is the best use of the drone for a let's play is not scouting off ahead, but looking where we've been. I can't get there yet. I can't get there at all, actually. I don't know what that is. I can get there. Wait, can I get there? No. No, I cannot get there. I can also go across the bridge. And that gives me another cave. Okay. I have a plan. We are going to go into the cave right now. And then I'm going to attempt to go into yet another cave to challenge myself a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Confirm. Let's put all of our Pikmin away. It's not suggesting reds to me. And I think that I'm going to take its advice. We're going to take out... That looks good. We're going to take go in blind with 20 of each. 